पुणे टू हजरत निजामुद्दीन इन टोरंटो एक्सप्रेस That's Pune to Delhi in Toronto Express. The fastest train between Pune to Delhi. Pune is like the second most important city of Maharashtra, and Delhi is capital of India. Let's begin a journey in this very interesting Toronto Express. Let me get inside the train. My coach is B2, and I'll be traveling in side lower. So we start our journey Shahpur time, and as you enjoy the departure of our train, let me share the fare system of our train. Like any other Toronto Express, this train also has dynamic fare system. In 3 AC, the minimum fare is 2,430 rupees, and the maximum is 3,175 rupees. In 2 AC, the minimum fare is 3,270 rupees, and the maximum is 4,345 rupees. And in first AC, it is 5,410 rupees, and there is no dynamic fare in first AC. The catering charges is 480 rupees for 3 AC and 2 AC, and it is optional. You can opt out of it if, in case you do not want to take the catering services. And in first AC, the catering service charge is 665 rupees. In this video, I'll share all the meals provided in 3 AC as we reach to Delhi, and you can see how the food is. So that if, in case you want to take the catering services or not, you can decide accordingly. Now let me get inside, get my ticket checked, because soon we would be reaching Khandala section. So our train is currently skipping Lonavala station. It is a very famous hill station, and you can definitely enjoy during the monsoon period, because it is best to visit during that time. And this is Khandala station, where our train generally stops for a technical reason. Now let us enjoy the Khandala Ghat section. most important part that is the first meal of this train so let me go ahead to my seat and uh, show you how the meal is so this is the meal chicken dal and this is rice this is salt if in case you need to add uh, as per your liking this is uh, chapati like roti and uh, there are like two yes it is one and two two chapati and there is also mixed pickle and uh, there is ice cream in dessert
train has reached uh, Vasai Road, its first halt. Uh, it is roughly late by 7-8 minutes, so that's not a big delay. Now from here, the train will be directly stopping at Surat. I am expecting the evening snacks to be served after Surat, but let's see, we will find out. And uh, then the train will be stopping at Vadodara. It's a Toronto Express, so won't be stopping for too long. Let's see how the run will be. I really enjoyed it. Hope, hope you are also enjoying it. So our train started with uh, just a marginal delay of 5-7 minutes from uh, Vasai Road Station and now I'll show you some interesting uh, overtakes of our train which I'm expecting to happen and then we will reach our next stop that is Surat. So enjoy some interesting high speed action. and uh, he has got the evening snacks so let me show you the evening snacks so this is the evening snacks uh, and this is a snack packet another snack packet which contains uh, chana and uh, this is kachori which uh, let's see how it would be this is i think the tea kit yes it is the tea kit and this is sauce for the kachori which you want to eat and uh, this is the sweet which is generally the same that is sohn cake so apart from the package item this is the only item to be tasted like uh, which is cooked and uh, this is kachori it's too oily like somewhat similar to what sialda rajdhani it is tea water has been served so after that i'll make some tea and then we will see our journey for the arrival at surat stay tuned because there we should be meeting with vande bharat express so the train is currently departing from uh, surat I actually met uh, a couple of very good boys uh, in, uh, in the train. It was really very interesting to meet them. They reside in Pune. And uh, from here, the train will be directly stopping at uh, Vadodara Junction. So, yeah, the train doesn't stop too much. The train is late by 20 minutes. Now, I'll show you the Tapti River Bridge and few more interesting scenes before the sun sets for this train also and for our journey also. Because after darkness, it's like really nothing.
Vadodara Junction more than 30 minutes late. So yeah, the delay has kept on increasing by 10-10 minutes. Like 10 minutes at Vasai, 20 minutes at Surat, 30 minutes at Vadodara. Well, I hope it doesn't keep on doing that. Now what I really expect is a very good food also and the train to be on time at Hadrat Zamuddin railway station. We will find out in very few moments and as far as stoppage is considered, the train stops only at Ratlam and Kota in the night. So there are not too many halts either. So let's get into the train back again and then we will see the departure. So it's almost 8 and now I'll go ahead and wash my hand and uh, then we will see how the dinner is there is a little bit of fuss about veg not being good so let's see how my food that is non-veg is this is some curd which is samul or amul and this is a pickle which is like a mixed pickle and uh, this is a salt <coughs> and this is paratha which is like i think two in quantity dal chicken and rice So that was pretty much about the food that it was it was decent enough for me but I'm not really sure how it would have been for many other passengers because not many have complained only few have complained and those who did they actually got their dish chain and you have to complain always tag in to IRCTC and Rail Madad and uh, hopefully your complaint will be resolved and that has to be done through Twitter or you can even use the helpline number that is 139. In this train, along with the bedding, the hand towel wasn't removed. So that was really a thumbs up and I really felt it was really good. So very good morning and uh, we are running before time. The most interesting part is that the morning tea was given, so that was really very good. Even though it is running before time, it's interesting when the train would reach at uh, other stop. Let's see, if it doesn't stop, then it will definitely reach before time. So in next few moments, I'll show you when it will reach Hazrat Nizamuddin railway station. So we reach our destination that is Hazrat Nizamuddin railway station with a delay of just 5-7 minutes. So overall the punctuality has been good. The overall experience was also good in this train. I hope you liked the video. If in case you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you still have any questions, suggestion or feedback, please use the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching so far. Make sure to subscribe so that you could be connected with many more journeys that I would be doing. See you in the next vlog. Till then, travel safe, take care 